Whoa, that was more massive than one of my erections. That was one of the most dramatic recouplings so far in this week's Love Island. Welcome back to Big Mouth. Danny's reaction to Ellie, Jack's ex, was outrageous, childish, juvenile. And when she's looking at Samira and the other girls, you know, it's like they're getting ready to do doing a bit of bullying. So if Danny does start to try and ostracise Ellie, Jack's ex, I think Danny is going to have a problem. But even more important, I think that Danny and Jack as a couple are going to have a problem. Who would Jack choose over Ellie, someone he's known for quite a while, or Danny, someone he's known for three weeks? We know the benefits of winning Love Island with Danny is uh, she's uh, Danny Dyer's daughter. And there's 50 or 60k up for gra grabs. And of course, the fame game can we won more deeply if they're in that couple. But I believe there's another scenario here that people are not thinking about. I believe that Ellie and Jack could win Love Island. I, I actually believe that. I know it sounds insane. I know you're going to abuse me in the comments down below. But I believe that could actually happen. It was pretty outrageous what I saw. Uh, Danny was just saying, I'm not going to applaud her. I'm not going to talk to her. It's like Ellie's done something really bad to her. I know she sees Ellie as a threat. But to me, it seems Danny's a, a young lady with very little confidence in herself to see Ellie as a threat. I think Ellie's really attractive and she's got quite a bit about her. I like her personality as well. Although she, she does seem like the kind of young lady who can cope with whatever Danny's going to throw at her. The problem with Danny is she's obviously been spoiled. She's obviously used to getting her own way. And she doesn't like anything that's a threat to her getting what she wants. So I would say, A, what she was saying against Ellie when she saw her walk in was outrageous. It didn't make Danny look very good. Her supporters were saying, well, you know, it's a threat to her couple. And I don't care. Her attitude, what she was doing, was wrong. Now, there, there was, I mean, there was so much going on within this recoupling. I mean, it was, it was, Caroline Flack was there, but who was taking any notice of Caroline Flack? The expressions on their faces, everything. And I mean, Ellie's reaction to Adam walking in with someone else as well was very telling. She called him a prick. Now, don't forget, Ellie and Adam are friends from, from before Love Island, and she's calling him a prick. Now, some girl kind of tapped me on Twitter and said, oh, yeah, well, uh, Zara and Ellie were mates. Well, actually, Ellie and Adam were mates before Zara ever walked into Love Island. So that wasn't the reason Ellie reacted so aggressively. And the look on her face was heartbreak. Ellie fancies Adam. I know Ellie like the back of my hand. It's obvious. That's why she was triggered when she saw Adam walk in with with, what's her name? I forgot her name now. But yeah, um, I, this, is, this is what I think. And, and I think she definitely fancies Adam. And I think this is why she was so triggered. It was one of the most amazing telling things I've seen on reality TV. Love Island's a really interesting show because if, if this was a kind of an American reality show, you could see how a fake it would look. But because it's English, that gives it some character. And it does seem very real. I don't know if it is or not. Um, we've heard explanations before, but who knows? But yeah, Ellie's reaction to Adam walking in with someone else was very, very interesting. But what about my lad, Alex? Yesterday, I thought he was going to team up with Charlie. Poor Charlie leaves and he teams up with Grace. Now, why did Alex decide this? Now, he all of a sudden wanted to get to know Grace. Or did he think Grace is someone who's slightly weaker, will stick with him, because Alex is another one who lacks a lot of confidence. I just, I could see Alex winning this thing with the right girl. I don't think Grace is the right girl. And the type of mentality who watched this show, I suppose, were never ever going to vote for Alex to win this show. Um, you know, the mentality is you, you've got young girls watching this, and they're going to go for Georgia. They're going to go for Danny. Unfortunately, you could see one of those two winning it. But, as I say, Ellie and Jack, if they were to admit they still like each other, I mean, listen, Danny's, Danny's going insane now when she's still with Jack. How would she react if Jack and Ellie got together? I mean, it would be very, very interesting. Um, 
you would see a dire fall apart. And I think the fallout, not just on the show, but social media, would be explosive. Now, what about young Georgia? She said she wanted to stick with her man, Josh. Yes, what, Georgia? He was never your man. You played, the, you backed the wrong horse. You played the wrong game. You were talking shit about keeping him on his toes. You didn't keep him on his toes. As soon as he found a better piece of skirt, he went for it. And he's going to do the same thing to her. I've got to go. I had to go with my gut, man. I had to go with my gut. Oh, what are you talking about? Why don't you just say the truth? I had to go with my dick, man. I had to go with my dick. You know, it, it, it would have been more honest at least. But, it, it, you know, so basically, I like him as a member of Love Island. He's a good character. Yeah, I'm disappointed with what he did. I'm not a particularly a fan of Georgia. I don't... I, I don't like Megan, but I do feel she's right in her suspicions that Georgia's slightly fake. She's going with this whole moralistic thing. I'm Georgia. I always do the right thing. I'm low, dude. And let's talk about this girl, girl code between uh, Danny and Georgia. They would bog wash each other just to get to that 60K or 50K before each other. So don't be fooled with them being mates. Laura was hilarious. She was loving the fact that Wes's gamble to leave her and join Megan failed. I mean, I love Laura. I mean, the guy she chose isn't going to go the distance. Um, he's not going. He's not going to be able to last with Laura. First of all, the only person who's ever going to satisfy Laura is me. Let's face it. ITV, Love Island, get me on there. Me and Laura. She's 29. I'm 45. Still a bit of a gap. But we could have fun. I love Laura. She's got class. It's not just her looks. She's got, oh, I've got such a crush on Laura, I tell you. Anyway, I've got to get over my Laura obsession, haven't I? It's never going to happen. So Laura was really funny. You know, Samira and her choice, you, you could, Samira and, and that guy are just a dead couple walking. Samira should have been jilted off the island weeks ago. Somehow she survived. Um, so, you know, I, I, I just don't, I just don't get Samira. Obviously, Sam's now with Ellie, Jack's ex, very interesting I've been saying that Sam's a closet gay and he's pretending to be straight, but I actually feel sorry for him now because he's in a, him and Danny are in the middle of something that's been going on before Love Island. It's obvious to me, as I keep on saying, that Jack and Ellie are in love and something will happen there. And I just saw poor young Jack's face when Danny was giving all the aggression to his ex Ellie. Um, he thought, oh my God, this is going to be a tough one. And it is, it is Jack. I think Jack, see, I don't want Jack and Danny to win. Love Island, but I think that Jack is just such a lovely lad. I just want to give him a big hug and take him out for a night out here in Iron Nap. I just think he's such a nice lad, and I, I really like him. He seems like a soft, gentle soul, don't he? So he's one of my favourites. So I guess if him and Danny did win, I'd still be kind of happy for him. But I do have issues with Danny, especially, as I keep on saying, her reactions to Ellie, because Ellie has done nothing wrong. You know, everyone's going to want to be on Love Island, you know? If, if I was approached, if one of your exes on Love Island, would I come and mess, mess her up? Of course I would. Why not? I want to be on TV, don't I? So, not that I'm not busy enough with developing the first English-speaking dramas here on Cypriot TV, but it would be fun to be on Love Island. Who could turn that down? And it's, it could be free sex. Who's going to want to shag me on there? Yeah, uh, you've got a point, guys. I, I take that back. So, um, yeah, uh, Georgia is now single. Um, what's going to happen to Georgia now? Who can she get with? It's is is Georgia a dead woman walking? Uh, I want I want look I want your reactions to last night's Love Island, whether you agree with me or not, because I think it was a fantastic episode. Uh, I think Flack's um, reaction to when uh, Josh was going on about my gut man, my gut man, she looked like she wanted to nut him. But Caroline Flack's no angel anyway, so she can't be really judging anyone in relationships, you know. Remember what happened when she was presenting X Factor and what happened with her and himself? Yeah, anyway, we do not want to go there, do we, bad mouth Caroline? Although, she's fun. Anyway, anyway, yeah, so a fantastic episode. Well, I, I, I personally don't think we're any closer to finding out who's going to win this thing, who's going to go the distance. I think it's easy to kind of predict who won't go the distance. And something tells me people won't be targeting Adam so much now with Josh about. He's going to be public enemy number one. Can he survive? It's going to be a very interesting remaining week.